first of all, Professor David, my warmest congratulations. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. When I meet postdocs of yours, they have many good things to uh, tell me about you. You're an extremely creative man and you even welcome bad ideas. How can bad ideas be good? I think they're ideas that I think are bad. But I've come to realize that although I tell people they're bad ideas, often their ideas are much better than my ideas. And then they say to me, well, if you think they're bad, why don't you, you, know, why don't you even talk about it? But I say, you know, just say you'll know I'm wrong, and then you'll stick with your own idea and you'll be right. Ah, interesting. Your creativity is well known. Now you get a prize for it. What gets you going? I think my science is really exciting. Actually, now I'm beginning to think it's people. But uh, up till now, I thought it was numbers and science. But I actually like people a lot as well. So uh, this is a big surprise to me. This is probably why I'm enjoying this week so much. Do you think science in general needs more playfulness? Yeah, I think every passionate activity needs more playfulness. Don't ask me to interpret that more because it could be interpreted in many ways. So, uh, but I do think that you have to work very hard, you have to care about what you're doing, but you can't take yourself seriously. I heard that uh, this man never grows up. <laughs> Why not? I'm happy not to grow up. I don't see any advantage of him growing up. I mean, I, you, know, you get older, it's hard to walk upstairs, but you know, somehow I think that one can continue to learn from the younger generation. And, uh, right now my guru is my 10-year-old grandson who teaches me about music I and mean, everything I want to know, Xboxes and video games. And he says I'll never learn. I'm not sure. <laughs> no. <coughs> well. Um, your work became a huge success. Did you see the potential in your work during the 70s? Yes, we certainly saw the potential, I think, very early on. But of course, you never know how, you know, how things are going to play out. Uh, in some senses, me seeing the potential is not the same as the community seeing the potential. And I think that in many ways, this decision of the chemistry committee was a surprise. I don't think anyone would have predicted the particular papers that they selected. They did a very, very clever, courageous thing. So if we just play with the thought, if we press the fast forward button, and um, well, I, I've heard that you mentioned that simulating life could be possible well, in the future. What do you I, mean? I think I, simulating a living cell. Mm -hmm. I think life is a very broad concept. And, uh, but I do think that... Uh, because all of life depends, because we understand the basic machinery of life, uh, you should, we should be able to simulate more and more complicated things. Obviously, there's a certain amount of randomness and uncertainty, but I don't see any fundamental reason why we couldn't simulate a whole cell. I think but going to a whole human being may take another million years. I don't know. But, you know things get better all the time. Aren't they? But I mean, one cell could easily be. Two, three. <laughs> but the trouble is that complexity, I think that, uh, and in some senses you're right, because when we started out, we were simulating a few hundred atoms for a very short time, and now we're simulating even millions of atoms. And what's surprising is nothing has gone wrong. And that's actually quite surprising, because you could have thought suddenly things would just stop working. So it does seem that as computers get more and more powerful, we can actually do bigger and more complicated things, which is not necessarily expected. A little bird told me that you're a party guy and the last to leave. Will you live up to that tonight? I hope so. I think <laughs> that uh, my collar is kind of tight. My shoes are not the most comfortable shoes. But I have been promised <laughs> carbonated vodka, sparkling <laughs> vodka. So I think it's going to be a fun party. I'm definitely, uh, even my guests who are leaving at 6 a.m. are coming to the nightclub after party. So. I'll see you on the dance floor. Mm. A very happy evening to you and congratulations Thank again. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here.